She was that hefty? Yes, she is a hefty one this month. Oh boy, this could be fun. Hello and welcome. We are discussing the fact that the February box from Allure was a hefty one. Yes, it sounds like she was. She weighed in at one pound, 15 ounces. Normally, I don't weigh the box because it feels just like a usual box of product. This one is a hefty one. Let's see what we got. Yes, let's. First up is a highlighter palette from Milk and Honey. This is something where we had the opportunity to make a choice between a highlighter palette or an eyeshadow palette. And being that my closets and cupboards are bursting with both highlighter palettes and eyeshadow palettes, I went with the highlighter palette. This one is going to go into a gift or giveaway box. And let's see if I can get it open. Oh, good heavens to Betsy. Oh, you need a camel to pry the box open. Camel, you're showing the wrong end. Excuse me. This is what it looks like. Nice shades. Yes, these are definitely nice shades. They are just a product that right now I have way too much of, so I need to start putting things in gift piles and giveaway boxes. This next product I am excited to try. It is a sample size of a YSL mascara. And I've made some room in my mascara collection so this one can get into the queue line quickly. I know, I'm sounding a little bit bougie over here, but I've never had the opportunity to try something on the snazzy side. Oh, that does look nice. This is the Dialba Piedmont Aromatic Spray Serum. It is a hydrator for your face. I've given it a try. Very nice. It is something, as you can see, it is separated within the bottle. It is a product where you have to give it a good shake. Oh, you're making me seasick. Hang on, camel. And it mixes up into a nice yellow color. The scent is very nice, and I'm appreciative of that because I don't like heavily perfumed scents. That is a full-size item, refreshing faced mist with natural hydrators, rose water, avocado oil, and sunflower seed oil. So I'm going to be getting some good use out of that. Oh, I might even try it. So we are halfway through the box. Do you see something that you like? Comment down below. Yes, we are nosy. We want to know. And now, moving back into our video, this product has hydrators in it like glycerin and safflower oil. And I'm excited to get a hold of another Tula product when I was cleaning out some of the cupboards of products, I realized that I have got, and I haven't used it yet, a Tula skincare facial scrub. So now I've got the Tula skincare cult classic purifying face cleanser. Boy, that was a tongue twister. So I'm thinking I can use these alternating and in conjunction with each other. So that's always nice, I think to be able to pair up products together from the same manufacturer or the same brand. I readily admit when it comes to eating, I do not like beets. However, I am intrigued to try this face mask. It is beet and retinol. So this ought to be an interesting one. Sweet Chef Beet and vitamin A fresh pressed sheet mask. The mix of beet and retinol helps smooth and soften skin and refine pores and does apparently wonderful things for your skin. 
And last but certainly not least, from Sephora, a moisturizer that has prebiotics in it, and it is also stated to be unscented. It's got a safety seal, so I'm going to leave it closed up because I already have a moisturizer open. But I'm excited to get to try this sample size because anything unscented, my allergies will be much happier. So in the second half of the Vox, what did you like? Let us know. We are nosy. So now moving right along to the nitty gritty. You mean the pricing. I mean the pricing. This box is $23 a month. The shipping is free. You do have to pay tax, so that gets me in around $25. You're guaranteed six items, with it usually being a split of three samples and three full-size products. The value is supposed to be at least $100. I added up this box for the full size items, and there were four of them, and it was $120.50. So I feel like I definitely got my value both in product value as well as financial value. In looking at the entirety of the box, I think my three favorite items would be the Tula Cleanser, the Dialba face hydrator, and the YSL mascara. The box comes with a nice little brochure with a lovely person on the front, and inside it tells you about the items that are in this box and highlights things so she knows what she's talking about. The items that were up for choice for Beauty Bakery, either the highlighter or the eyeshadow palette, they were each $38. So that was the same financial cost across the board or financial investment, but they were just two different items. You had a choice. And that's kind of nice to have a choice. I've noticed that Allure is doing that more lately. The YSL was a sample product. Full size would be $29 for 0.3 ounces of mascara. The Dialba Piedmont face spray serum was full size at 120 milliliters and has a retail of $45. The Tula face cleanser is $34 for 6.7 ounces. And the sheet mask with the beet and the retinol was full size, one item, and it's $3.50. And the Sephora moisturizing prebiotic lotion or face cream was a sample size. Full size would be 1.69 ounces for $18. And honestly, that's a pretty reasonable price. So, what did you think of this box? We were very pleased with it. Yes, it was a good one. Thank you for watching today. Comment below if you haven't. If you would consider subscribing, we would appreciate it. And it would also let you Join in on further adventures that the camel and I get into. Oh, we have some fun adventures. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you again in another video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.